Hello viewers, today we're going to be lubricating an Amazon Basic Fian. This came out of the box with a bearing situation. Those bearings are so stiff it's ridiculous. Now one should not have to service a new product. It should come out of the box ready to use, but that's just not always the case anymore. So let's see how easily this is done. It looks from the outside like it would be relatively easy, but sometimes things are not as they seem. And for what it's worth, the guard and the blades go on and off very easily for regular cleaning, which is about as far as the average consumer would ever go. So as far as that's concerned, that's pretty good. Now let's see how easy it is to go further. Okay, so we have some plastic tabs on the side here, almost like reminiscent of the Medea Fians from years ago. Comes off fairly easily. The oscillation knob, I think it just pulls off. No, nope. maybe not. Okay, so that's not really coming off. Fortunately, I think the plastic housing is flimsy enough that I'll be able to just kind of finagle it through like that. So if it comes off or not, it doesn't really matter. So here's the inside of the Fian. It's a very small motor compared to what these used to come with. And uh, ironically enough, there's a lot of lubrication on the outside of the shaft. It's almost like some kind of a grease is on there, which is not really what should be on there for this kind of an application. It's like a kind of a thick grease which is strange that's kind of weird okay so what we'll do now is we have to tap that little um, that small bar out of the shaft in order to slide the bearing off that bar right there. So what I typically do is I get a, a uh, screwdriver and put the shaft on there like that and then I'll just gently tap it out. And then uh, to finish pushing it through get a little pointy thing like this and stuff it the rest of the way through. Okay, so that's out now. And that I believe is the only thing preventing us from taking the bearing off of the shaft. Where's the motor? There it is. So now the motor is held together by screws and a, and a bolt, so that's good. I'm going to detach the oscillating mechanism. Looks like there's going to be three screws to do that. Capacitor has no... oh yeah, it does have some markings. It's a 
The markings are very faint. That's got plenty of lubricant in there. In fact, that's going to be somewhat of an issue because when I go to slide this off, slide the rear bearing off of there, um, it's going to get all in there. Maybe we won't slide the bearing off then. We'll slide the front bearing off only. Let's see if that can be done. All right, so I'm going to loosen these four screws that hold the uh, motor together. has these like self-locking washers Okay, so let's see how this motor is going to come apart. Well, it's fixing to come apart. The only thing I have to do is remove the capacitor because I want to take the stator and everything with the shell on the back. So this capacitor's got to come off. Yeah, there's an outrageous amount of grease in the back of this unit which is fine, but how come there's no oil on the shaft? Okay, so now this should be free to just come right off. Okay. So now... Well, there is actually a lot of oil on the wick. Shaft is kind of wet. I wonder if it's just an alignment issue. Well, I'll add a drop or two in there just for good measure. But I'm wondering if maybe it's just an alignment issue. And as far as the motor itself is concerned, it's small, but it looks like it was made acceptably. It's not terrible. It's very small, but you know, it's not bad. Windings look decent enough. Got some grease in the bearing, which I didn't want to happen. Specifically trying to avoid that from happening. Alright, 
let's put a drop of oil on here and I'm gonna put it put it back together and we'll see. Maybe it's just an alignment issue. It's spinning freely but not like really freely. Let's see. That may have made it a little bit better. Yeah, it does feel a bit more free. Okay. So that's good. And I'll put a little bit on the front here once I start getting this back in. Okay. Now there's oil on both of the shaft sides. This is becoming very messy for some reason. Motor is reassembled now. Let's see. 
what we have here. It's very stiff, which is not abnormal. To align it again, we're going to strike the shaft with the screwdriver. as good as it's going to get. Now let's put this thing back in, which is also covered in grease. Yeah, there's a lot of lubricant on this thing. All the gears in the back have plenty of grease on it. The wicks on the bearing have plenty of grease on it. The shaft is covered in grease, so I'm not sure why it's, it's so... Uh, stiff. I don't get it. Perhaps the bearings just need more time to break in. Well, that's a little better than it was, but it's still very stiff. Oh. It's kind of strange. Perhaps it'll change after it runs for a couple of hours. I don't know. Only time will tell. But as far as serviceability is concerned, that was fine. Everything in there comes apart pretty standard. It's all screws. There's no rivets. There's no glue crazy like that. It's plenty easy to clean you know on the surface. Oh, maybe it'll loosen up. Hopefully it does. Bearings seem very stiff to me. 
Well, as far as the teardown is concerned, I would give it a perfectly fine reading as far as cleaning goes. It's not hard at all to clean and service this.